Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back in Metropolis land uh, watching a bit of transport fever. Uh, you're just looking at the goods train leaving uh, for Detroit uh, with a massive load on there at the moment of, uh, well, nothing. Um, and, uh, and that's a little bit disappointing for it is the year 1900 and therefore things should have had time uh, certainly on that train to bed in somewhat and and that's problematic because it's going to put something of a hole in our month-to-month -month finances and uh, and what I'm looking to do relatively quickly is uh, is alleviate some of these uh, some of these longer routes so uh, so sticking a train on the spinwood for example would uh, would certainly make a bit of a difference there um, I do, yeah I mean undoubtedly it would make a difference if we call up the uh, the route menager here as well. Uh, where are I? Frequency. Can we sort by that? Yes, we can. There we go. So as you can see, all of the routes that are kind of 14 minutes or longer are struggling to make money, although the Euro Loop with a shins uh, is, it, it's not far off profitability. But uh, but the problem that we've got here, I mean, we've got passengers on board. The the Sioux Falls European balloon is uh, is lackluster to say the least. Uh, so sticking another train on there, it will either work or it'll do the other thing, which is not work. Um, but if we then look at uh, the, uh, the the main offenders when it comes to profit, uh, the uh, El Paso bulk freight is it underperforms, but that's because it takes a long time to do a turnaround. So by the time it comes back, picks up a load, drops it back off again, it will bump into profit. But uh, this is probably as unhealthy as our profit margin has looked uh, since we got into profit for the very first time. So that's a bit of a concern. And I, and I think that by, uh, by resolving some of these lengthier... I'm sure I had another one. There we go. There's, there it is. Uh, by resolving some of the lengthier routes that we've got by, by adding more services onto them, that, uh, that we can potentially make them work. Although, that said, Spinwood is really not far off doing quite nicely. Uh, but you didn't come here to look at charts and tables. No siree, Bob. Uh, you came here to look at trains doing train-like things. So let's, uh, let's go and have a look at this train doing something train-like here as it heads towards Barcelona. Uh, one, of the, one of the finest places you could ever hope to get to. And, uh, and what a, what a fine-looking train it is. Uh, you're waiting for a free path, which means you're being blocked by something. But what are you being blocked by, I ask? Because there's nothing here. I mean, seriously, nothing. There is nothing here that could conceivably be getting in your way. Uh, so where exactly are you heading? You're going that way. Okay. All right. Um, well, that's that's super duper. Um, mm-hmm. And why? Okay, well, let's have a look at the other routes that come in and out of here. So, you've got... The, 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 let's, let's eyeball this. Not that that's going to make a massive difference at this point. Green line is only going in one direction. That's fine. Orange line is going in two directions. Now, this is the same orange line that caused us so much friction uh, last time. And it's continuing to do so because it's running on one side of the track. Okay, let's follow the orange line. What is that? That's the Barcelona Transatlantic. Yeah, see, this is this has been built by a right, Charlie. Uh, let's turn that one way. There you go. And lo and behold, everything is now working. Hooray! Right. Well, there you go. That, that was a problem that was resolved in a in a mere moment uh, by by setting a one way one way signal there. And obviously not having trains being held up at signals endlessly is going to make rather a large difference when it comes to making some money. Uh, so uh, let's follow this chap along. I'll run the bombastic intro and then we'll have a we'll have a brief discussion about what exactly our scheme is for today. Actually, before we have a discussion about what our amazing scheme is for today, look at that for a very, very nice shot. You've got a tram there going behind the houses. You've got some building going on. Plenty of industrial business happening there in an industrialist business kind of a way. And we pull into the station. And what are we going to end up with? Quite a lot of passengers would be a good thing. Go on. Go on. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Fill her up. Right. This is going to be profitable. 
Good. Right. Leave it a go. Ooh, that was quite an aggressive zoom out there. Uh, right. Okay. So the um, uh, at the turn of the century here. Hello there. Who's uh, you've got right of way? You are stopped in a very strange place. You'll be the Barcelona, won't you? Right. Turn around. There you go. If you go the right way, that should be uh, that should be happier. Okay. So you were giving away giving way to this fella here, who is uh, the. The, the the euro balloon okay only 14 on board but that's uh that's not dreadful i, I, I don't know why I've got, a, I've got a little bit of stuttering and i know why that is uh it's the turn of the century so the housing is updating yes the the the, the building models update themselves i am certain of this i've never seen it with mine own eye uh but every time that there is a uh, a period of look see the, this kind of uh, pausette stuff it's because we're uh, we're evolving to a new century can't you feel the tension in the air uh, the answer is yes you can uh, you're heading to Krakow so that's that's a profit running train that one right there uh, so we had a, a new train a new locomotive uh, become available We'll have a quick look at that in an engine shed, because where else would you do it? We're not going to use that one, because that's a that's a smelly engine shed for goods trains. We shall go down here to the nice, clean, beautiful passenger engine sheds. Uh, so if we were to attempt to buy one, which of course we won't, because we haven't got any money. Um, there we go. Let's uh, turn everything on. It is uh, the heavy-duty eight-wheeler uh, right here, and it does 80. Core. That's nice. Uh, an 80 mile per hour uh, uh, locomotive at the end of the 19th century. Fantastic. Uh, well, I, you know, I'd, I'd quite like to put that into service immediately. Have we got, uh, have we got a carriage of some description that will work with that? That'll do 68. Uh, that's, that's not nothing. Uh, but that's about your lot. So uh, it, w it would be overkill to run it on that, but I don't have. Other than the, uh, the Mogul Heavy does 70. So I think that's the uh, that's the match up that goes there. But this this eight uh, eight wheeler heavy is uh, is built for speed, friends. Uh, it's uh, it, li it likes shifting, and actually that's what you want hauling these tank cars. Okay, right. Well, I have tank cars, as you know, and uh, and it has to. And I'm currently running two locomotives on it, and there it is. So if I were to sell that... Now, I've got 1.6 in the bank. That's going to get eroded at the end of the month. Um, uh, but I've also got 2 million... Oh, actually, I've probably got more than that. Borrow... Yep, I've got quite a lot of loan available to me. All right, I'm formulating a notion, and it's, uh, it's a good one. Because if I can turn this around a bit quicker... That said... I don't need to turn it around a bit quicker. I need to turn around the uh, the local deliveries a bit quicker. Uh, right. Okay. Right. We're going to have to evaluate this. Uh, the, my my aim had been to to stick a passenger line out, a passenger train, but uh, if I can make the uh, the heavy hitter hit heavier still, then uh, then I think that uh, that we're uh, we're looking at a, looking at a gold mine. Now then, we're we're, we're running. Uh, these can stats here and uh, and everybody yelled at me last time I, I, I upgraded these because I upgraded them in a downgrade -y kind of a fashion so let's have a quick look at what the options are so if we thank you yeah let's let's keep it keep it on the screen so this will do can stats thank you uh, so carry capacity of six top speed of 16 and a power of 14 the steam lorry has a power of four Oh, okay. So the same capacity, same speed, slightly lower power, uh, and the same running costs. Same running costs, which presumably means that the Kanstadt has got slightly better acceleration, but that's really the only difference between the two. And it's the same price, so you're, you're better off running Kanstadts than whatever I, I transposed in last time around. Oh well, they're more fool me. Um, now then, what might be beneficial here is if I were to add an extra couple of chaps onto this line because uh, we've got a bit of a backlog building up and that will put a dent in the uh, in the manufacture and distribution of everything that we've got coming in. 
And could it be that they're having to trans, trans travel? Travel, yes, that's a word. Uh, travel in quite a significant uh, distance. They are. Now, the Mac was introduced at the start of this year. Um, and uh, and I could upgrade my, uh, my, my commuting services with that. But at the moment, there really isn't the internal demand for it. So I'll leave that alone. But I think I might stick another couple of Canstat onto the... Uh, uh, onto the old freight delivery here. Seems like a good plan to me. Right, where's my nearest vehicle depot? It's just there, look. Uh, buy a road vehicle or two. Uh, freight, Canstadt. Let's buy four of them. Set line, uh, El Paso freight delivery, please. Go. There we go. Right, so that might alleviate the backlog we've got there. I doubt it's a similar situation when you get down to Sioux Falls. Yeah, I mean, we've got a little bit waiting, but, I mean, realistically, it is only a little bit. So uh, so that's working just fine. Where's the train? So here comes the big fella here. Now, this is absolutely ripe to be, uh, to be updated, to be upgraded. Um, because, uh, I mean, firstly, running two locomotives isn't that efficient. All those tank cars were running the old school tank cars on there, so they're not that very they're not as efficient as they could be. But we already have a heck of a lot of fuel that's just waiting to go out. So I don't think we're really gonna benefit from that if we uh, if we change it over. So there goes the El Paso freight train there, which is fine. Have we got anything wait? And Detroit! Detroit enters the building, Detroit is playing the game. Ah, oh, well, that's a relief. Uh, I thought for a moment that it wasn't going wasn't to happen, uh, but it has happened, and therefore, that's good. Right, fine. What am I going to do with the money? Let's buy another train. Now, do I want to? Probably, yes, I probably do. Uh, now, I think my, my loan limit is now 20, if I recall correctly. It's been that long since I've taken out a full loan. Uh, nope, it's more than that. It's 30. Well, I can burn through that without breaking a sweat. Now, we're, I mean, we're, we're half a million in profit for the year, uh, which is possibly unsurprising given I haven't spent anything yet. So let's look at the, the, the lines that are struggling in terms of time. Uh, Europe Spinwood is very close to profit, so I think we might leave that alone. Uh, the Widdishins is also not far off. Now, I had something that was that was heinous. It's the balloon. All right, let's have a look at the balloon route and uh, and then pick it apart and see if we can't put it back together again. Right, let's highlight that, kill everything else off, and go and have a look at it. Now, I know that the balloon route is, for want of a better description, ludicrous, because it stops absolutely everywhere. Uh, let's have a look at the, uh, the financial chart here. Now, we're making a bit more cash this year than we were last year so we're only in april and we're already up on where we were last year but we're at a quarter of the of the actual running cost and that will improve if i add more trains to this route but the thing is that what would make most sense here is to have all the all of the locomotives able to do the same speed which would be the mogul heavy uh which is expensive to, for for starters uh, with uh, with a suitable carriage on there. That's the Krakow Transcontinental, and that might be no, that's the Barcelona Transatlantic, which is well, it's lacking passengers is is what it is. Uh, but as we look at the route, I mean, it's just such a nice route. I mean, it go it hits up absolutely everywhere, and because it's not going to do so on a very regular basis, it's gonna you know it's gonna throw a curveball at some of these stations as we come in now. So there's the Euro loop. And then coming in next to it, I'm tempted to close this down for a, for a nice shot there, but uh, I'm not going to. So that's Wolverhampton, Shanghai. How are you getting on? You're in profit this year. You may well toot your whistle with some degree of glee. Uh, oh, it wasn't. It, that, that, you may well toot your whistle with some degree of glee, uh, but you are only carrying 10 passengers, so let's not get carried away with that. As we've got, uh, as we've got double duke here, and it's a Colonel Cam moment. Oh, you know it is. There's a tram. We're not quite gaining on the front train. If 
we pull out a little, there you go. Maximum shot awesomeness. We're going to follow this along and uh, until uh, until the peel off, which isn't happening because you're waiting at a signal. I told you I would get you a whole bunch of steam trains running, and I have. So where? What exactly are you? What's your? No, you're waiting for this one to clear the next signal block, which is actually a, a reasonable distance away. Well, that's that's not going to do. Let's uh, let's put a signal in. Oh, I'm glad I was here to witness this. There we go. Put that in there. Off you go. Thank you. Because uh, obviously, in a, in a high traffic route, uh, you know, we'd, you want more signal blocks in order to keep things moving. Uh, right. Okay. Look, it, this is enough. Just touring the map and not doing anything productive. I think we need to do something productive here, um, and it's going to be buying a train for the balloon route. We will buy one. See how it gets on, and then maybe bring the others in for an upgrade. I don't want to blow my entire uh, my entire budget all in one go, unless I feel like it is going to pay back very, very quickly. Uh, I'd love to use the heavy eight-wheeler, but there really isn't a, a passenger carriage that is uh, that is suited to it. Is there? Uh, that, that maxes out at 68, you see. And then you're into European stuff. Uh, and then you're down here, which is a 50. No, let's uh, let's go with the speedy, speedy, speedy. No, hold on, this is a terrible idea. Because the amount it pays out is based on the slowest train that runs the route. Therefore, it's going to run terribly. Right, okay, you're not hired. Uh, let's have a look at who else is uh, costing me a lot of money. Barcelona's cost me money. They've got two trains on there. The capacity isn't great. Or rather, the capacity's fine, but the usage isn't great yet. That will pick up. I'm okay with that. Uh, Detroit is costing me a bit, but that's going to pick up now that there are actual goods available. Okay. Uh, Spinwood is so close to profit. Uh, I may even profit as soon as it pulls into the next station. Uh, let's just get the train window up here. You're waiting for a free path. But, I mean, you know, that's a good sign because it means that there's a lot of train action going on. Oh, yeah, see, the, there goes a train. Train action. And that's a long time to wait for it to hit another signal block. So, uh, so let's uh, stick that in there. Yep. Lots of whistling. Come on, there, dude. Put your foot down. Let's go. Let's uh, be having you. There you go. Ooh, that's that. Oh, that's that. Oh, hey, that's that's a whistle in a bit. That one. Uh, that's good. And then it, here comes. This is the kind of mainline action that we wanted. Uh, brilliant. Okay, right. What are you packing? Ten. Yeah, let's see, how many uh, how many trains am I actually running on here? One. I'm running one train on here. That's okay. Wolverhampton is uh, is too desirable to allow too many people to get in there at once. Uh, we'll leave that alone. Right. Okay. I'm going to turn my attention back to goods. And uh, and see if I can't make that work, or am I? I don't know. I'm so I am, <laughs> I'm paralysed with indecision, friends. Uh, you're waiting for a free path, which means uh, you shouldn't be. Show me the path you're trying to take here. You're trying to go up there, right? You shouldn't be waiting for a free path because here's the signal. Why is it that you are waiting? Is there anything? There's nothing coming the other way. There is, however, a train here that, that out of I don't know some some kind of mistaken charity. You're going to let this one through first. It's not even faster than you. It's it's just it, it's exactly the same. Or or is it? Oh, it is. It's consolidation. Um, all right. Okay, that is a little faster maybe. And it's the European balloon, which. In which case, I kind of applaud your charitable contribution to the the potential free-running, uh, ongoing challenge of, of trying to make that flipping thing profitable. But uh, yeah, you're not you're not helping your own cause there much. So as you can see, as we hit Brussels, there's a lot of there's a lot of routes that uh, that take advantage here. This is all good. I just need to do something that's going to make an improvement, and that's why I'm uh, that's why I'm dillying, dallying, uh, not not really doing anything at the moment because 
I don't want to spend on something that isn't going to return on that investment while my, my profit margin isn't as hot as it might be. I mean, we're looking at, at being plus six million for the year. Uh, I haven't really spent very much. Um, but uh, but even being plus six million is is not is not going to cut it in the in the long run, uh, or in the even in the in the short term. There you go. What are you packing? Forty four. Maybe this is just a train spotting episode. Maybe we are evaluating our options. Well, that's 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 certainly possible. Okay, we've we've managed to eliminate some of the backlog there. I would dearly like to train to, to upgrade this train, you know. But now is not the time to do so. Everything is working relatively well at the present time. Uh, I mean, I could upgrade the... You know what, I am. I'm going to upgrade the Sioux Falls train. Uh, because it has further to go. Because that will help eliminate some of the backlog. Especially since it does have 340 waiting. So the first challenge we have is, where is it? Uh, because it's it's out there somewhere, possibly near Sioux Falls. Uh, that's 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 a certainly a possibility. Here we go. Look, right, you get depoted, and do we want to sell it? Yeah, just go to the depot and get sold. I'm going to put a replacement in. Um, I'll pay for that now, and then we'll we'll make the money back when you arrive. So, here we go. Buying a train. Good. We got there eventually. Congratulations. You stuck with it and you've been rewarded as a result. We have the Heavy Mogul. Now, uh, this is the train that I'm also running in and out of Detroit. It's nice and quick, but what we don't have at present is a boxcar that will do 70. The boxcar tops out at 50. Now, we want the boxcar because that delivers food and we don't have, a, we don't have an alternative at the moment. Uh, th this tank car absolutely no problem with that at all um, but this boxcar problem with that and there doesn't appear to be any sign of a, a new one currently available so we're just gonna have to make this work I suppose so we'll, we'll go with the heavy mogul because it's it's the train of the day uh, and uh, and onto that we shall add now we've currently got a capacity of 98 I believe oil so uh, we're out of cash that's not going to last long. There you go. And we'll buy a few more. So if we take that up to 132. Yeah, that, that feels fine. And then we'll put um, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5? Five? 5. 5? Yes. Any advance on 5? How much food have we got waiting? None. 5's plenty. Uh, right. Okay, and then we'll uh, we'll deploy you on the uh, on the Sioux Falls freight bulk freight. Good. Ah, right. Now I have my I have my next scheme lined up, and that is we're going to buy another train, and it's this one. Now then, you are doing fifty. Maybe I'm not going to buy another train. Maybe I'm not. Okay. The, the problem we've got here is I've got to get more cattle up to the flipping station because we've only got, I mean, what have we got? 57 cattle waiting. This is clearly as a result of a, a slow turnaround, but again, I don't have a wagon that will go faster than 50. So even sticking a faster loco on there is not going to do me any favours. I've just got to turn it around faster. That's, that's really all there is to it. Uh, meanwhile, here are the steam lorries that uh, that I replaced uh, from being Canstats. So, so there, there's that. Uh, yeah, we've got auto replacement on. That's fine. I don't mind that at all. Uh, someone questioned me about why do I use auto replacement. The reason I use it is so that I can forget about it. Um, I'm quite happy to have these chaps replaced with an old vehicle because I, I review my lines on a regular basis. Um, and then I'll spot when something is using archaic, ancient tech, and uh, and I'll replace it at that point. So uh, so I don't mind that uh, that stuff is auto replaced. Uh, in fact, it's it often saves me bacon to do so because it stops costs escalating out of control uh, without you really noticing. That was quite a nice shot. I thought I thought that was quite pleasing. 
So how much are we actually going to pack in here? It'll be a little over 56. It'll probably be in the 60s, maybe. Uh, let's have a look. But as soon as I've got faster box cars, yeah, 69. Okay. Uh, as soon as I've got faster box cars, we'll uh, we'll 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 put them into service immediately. Are you all waiting? Oh, I see. We're waiting for Detroit to uh, to come into town. Hello, I'm Detroit. It says. Now there's a thought. Detroit comes back with empty box cars and an empty empty fuel stuff. Is there uh, any local goods that we could be benefiting from? Because we could take oil or food. No, not so as you'd notice. Oh well, that's a disappointment. Because that could have uh, that could have really helped the profitability on that line. But it, it is not to be, certainly not in this case. Uh, okay, well, look, I've still got I've still got cash in the bank, and you know how this stuff burns a hole in my pocket. Um, you know, maybe maybe Brussels is is ripe for a little bit of special treatment. Uh, or then again, maybe it isn't. Uh, no, I don't think it is. I did. And, ah, Barcelona. Barcelona may work. It's quite a hike. Uh, here's what's going on inside my head. Um, uh, no, hold on, wait. Uh, yes. What if, and it's a long way, have we got anything closer? See, what I'm thinking is, if I can get more goods here in the first place, because obviously the, the, the trucks here are pilfering some of the food and taking it into Krakow, which is fine. Krakow needs food as much as anybody else does. Uh, but it means that even if I were to bring a full load out from the, the hub here, which is actually flipping miles away, um, uh, then, uh, uh, yeah, even if it came out fully loaded, it would never go back with a, with a full stock, and, and therefore we wouldn't deliver very much to, uh, to local services. So uh, what would be ideal is if we could get a little bit more delivery coming in here. Yes. Maybe that's maybe that's our uh, our route to victory here. The question is, how would one go about it? Uh, a train is quite expensive. Trucks are very slow. That doesn't mean don't do it though, does it? You know what? I haven't I haven't run a really long truck route in ages. There's going to be a reason for that, uh, but why why not? Frankly. Uh, okay, right. So let's let's pull a route together that makes some sense, and that's going to mean getting over the line here. We don't want to go through the fields because it costs an arm and a leg to do so. You've got a little road that goes out there, so you could actually deliver to Brussels. So Brussels could be my secret weapon here. I think that might be. No, that's not helpful because we want to deliver to the food and not to the the hub as much as that would work. And you've got another farm just there that could deliver to... Okay, all right, I have to, I'm formulating a scheme, people, and uh, and you're here to witness that uh, as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pull a bit of road over here. All right, okay, this is not going to be completely... This is a terrible route. All right, give me a price check on the uh, the slightly more aggressive through the middle of the fields route, please. Two million to go through ten fields. That's a lot of fields to go through. How about that? One million to go through five fields. Well, that kind of stands up. That's that's like maths. That's that's easy enough. Uh, I would quite like to go as the crow flies, but without removing every field on the face of the flaming planet. Uh, we could go that way, lose two fields, circle round a little bit. That's It's out of the way, but it's not complete. I can't believe I just did that. Because this is this is not the, the most brilliant plan I've ever concocted. Uh, right, in there somewhere, please. There you go. No. If you could, let's... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll, we'll do right angles here, because this, this will really shave mere seconds off what is a, a seven and a half month journey that these things are having to make. Uh, right, let's at least fit in our uh, our truck station here. All right. 
Right, so there's the truck station. Let's get it as... Because, yeah, obviously this is going to make a massive difference as well. Sticking it in up here somewhere. What's the bet? I can't get close enough. How close do I have to get? About there. All right, well, we'll go just there. Nope, oh, just, just there. Get in a little closer. Get it right. Don't bulldoze the field. Smashing. I almost bulldozed the field there because my mouse wiggled at the last minute. Uh, right, okay, and then we'll head out in this direction. Yep, smashing. And then we're going to connect up with something that makes sense. So this is the road of choice. So if we continue going this way, and who knows, maybe this uh, this tool and uh, tool and machine factory is, uh, is going to come into its own at some point in the future. All right, let's... Uh, let's whack this over the top of the, the, the main line here. Yeah, we're having a bridge. Yeah, we're doing it the traditional way. Yeah, we're going to make it out of something else. Not that, though. This. What do we think? I'm not so sure. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's zoom in. No, you can't have two pillars. I know you want two pillars because it will look neat, but you can't have it. Uh, also, we're going to try and do it at... Uh, a right angle to the uh, to the track there because it just looks nicer still can't have two pillars though because you're not allowed uh, because that's what you want and the last thing that we're going to give you is what you want how about something wooden that's that's nice okay right we'll take that it's only 70 grand worth every penny and then we'll fling this around the corner and onto that good right and then we connect up this end to there it is Hooray! Now then, in order for this to work, even remotely, uh, we're going to require an awful lot of trucks on here. 200k to get around there? Come on, mate. I mean, you know, do me a favour. How about we don't gouge a ruddy great hole out through the, uh, through the landscape, and instead we, uh, we gently follow the terrain... There you go. See, that's that's the gently following the terrain approach there. I know it'll be a little bit uphill, but you, you're just going to have to get out and push, should the need arise. Uh, we'll also avoid using those surface streets, although saying that, it's going to cost me 200 grand if I do it the lazy way. You're going to use the surface streets. Uh, right, let's set this route up. I hope you notice that I've made some money while I've been, uh, you know, just uh, just getting things done here. Right, there's a truck stop right there. And then we head out to here. So there's our there's our route. It is pretty much as the crow flies uh, if the crow is uh, on Valium. Um, I've I've done worse. I've seen worse, uh, but that's pretty bad. Uh, right. Okay. So this is going to be uh, Krakow, which I believe I came up with. Did I? I can't believe I did. Yeah, all right. That was a nice noise. What's this one do? Yeah, it is KRKW. All right, KRKW. And uh, that's going to be uh, Ancillary, which I'm pretty sure has got a double L in it. But it might not have. Extra. There we go. Uh, extra. Uh, cattle. There we go. Uh, yeah, and so, hmm, that's going to bother me now. I'm going to have to look it up afterwards. Uh, you'll tell me in the comments, I'm sure, because uh, everybody likes telling me everything in the comments, and I love listening to it. Uh, now then, where's the nearest... Uh, for some reason, I placed it all the way out here. Well, well, it's, it's as close as anything. So we're going to need enough to get the, uh, the journey time down to about 20 minutes. We'll use the Canstat, I think. As a, as a nice piece of technology. One, two, three, four, five, six to start with. Let's see how that looks. It's not gonna look good enough, I'll tell you that for nothing. Uh, extra cattle, there you go, off to work. Choo-choo. Right, we'll, we'll give this, uh, let's say 30 seconds on the afterburners and uh, just to get those guys floating out there. Go on guys, float. And then let's see what our, uh, our route time looks like. Uh, give me eyeball on everything. I oh, know eyeball on on road. Three minutes. No, that's the station shuttle. All right, 
Oh, it's because we can't see the route. Why, well, you dingbat. Apparently five minutes. I find that very hard to believe. No way is that a five minute route. I mean, if it is, then that's that's a good thing. Uh, but hopefully, the, the logic here, and I'm sure you've picked up on it already, uh, the, the logic is that by shipping in extra, extra farm animals uh, to be turned into uh, succulent beef patties, uh, that uh, will will beef up the train. That was a completely unintentional pun, but it was quite a good one. Uh, we'll beef up the train that heads this way, which will enable it to earn a bit more cash, uh, which in turn will enable more food to be delivered, which will enable more cash. Right? This is this is just feeding that line to make more cash out the other end of it. Meanwhile, Detroit has goods. Ooh, and they're really not being picked up very much. Where are my trucks? Didn't I put like a bunch of trucks on here? Uh, goods 3 particularly is, uh, is struggling to maintain pace, despite the fact I'm not delivering very much. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's put more on everything here. So if we buy road vehicles, let's uh, can stat, obviously. Uh, we'll put one on line one. So this is Detroit goods one, thank you. Uh, we'll put two on line two because reasons and we'll put three on line three because I'm pretty sure that's how I did it originally and therefore that should just work though right. Meanwhile, the train itself is where? And somebody else mentioned that I've got this signalling completely messed up because I'm giving right of way to the goods train rather than the passenger trains. You'd be right. Um, so let's fix that while there's no one around. Uh, like this. Yeah. And that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't exactly know how I managed to make that error because that was exactly what I was trying to avoid. Um, but we'll also... So if we so we got a signal block that finishes there and starts there. I think I mean to be honest, I want another signal block in here anyway. Uh, as we start to run more trains on all these routes, more signal blocks are going to be absolutely essential. So you're coming back now. We will follow you. I'll, I'll turn the uh, the super speed off. And why are you? What are you waiting for? You should not need to be waiting for anything at all because look. You, should, you just should... Oh, hold on. It's because you don't have an additional signal block. Well, that's that's incredibly bad. Uh, where are we? There we are here. So if we go as far as a bit of that... That's a terrible place for a signal. I know I shall fix it. Uh, just not right now. There we go. Let's get that as close to... The, that, that's not a good place for a signal either. That's the place for a signal. Uh, this one we can get rid of. Right, okay, so, yes, what we're going to see is how much we slap on board the uh, the Detroit goods service here. Bearing in mind that there might not be much uh, that has been delivered lately. There we go, that's now packing 112, that's a good sign. And presumably that has picked up because Detroit has come online as well. So as I bring additional cities online that are going to be uh, on the receiving end of goods, uh, then that's going to uh, that's going to increasingly be the case. Right, let's pay off as much as possible here. Still, I don't know, seven million in debt. But it could be worse. Uh, what are you packing? You've got a full load. Is there anything else still waiting? Detroit, there is loads waiting. Right, so when it makes its return leg, I shall fling it into the depot and upgrade it. Uh, the only way I'm going to upgrade is I'm going to add a few more cars onto there. Uh, but anyway, I shall do that while you're elsewhere, and then next time around we'll make a little bit more progress. Um, not a massive amount of progress this time around, although I did build a completely far-fetched goods route. Uh, that hopefully will have, have, have gestated by the time you return. And uh, and then we'll be able to uh, to knock the next thing on the head. Uh, and the next thing on the head is probably going to be more goods. Because when you get them right, they make an awful lot of money. If you don't get them right, they cost you an awful lot of money. We're going to do this Colonel Cam to finish things off. 
Chuck a like at this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on whatever happens next. And I'll be back very soon. Thanks for watching. Cheerio!